What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the indicated real nth roots, root or roots of A, all right? So as you can see, all these problems, it gives us an N number and an A number. So what do N and A stand for? So the way we can set this up is by saying X, right? Just some random number raised to the N is equal to A. Right, so n over here is our exponent, right? So all these n's, they're just exponents. And then a is the solution, right? So all these a's are solution. So what we're looking for in this problem are the roots, right? So this x right here, the base number, is your root, okay? And one little tip I want to give you about the exponents is that if your exponent n is an even number, then we're going to have two solutions or two roots. We're going to have a positive one and a negative one, right? And if your exponent, your n, is an odd number, then we have one solution. It's going to be either positive or negative. Okay, so let's start with this first problem and see how we can work this out. So here n is equal to 3 and a is equal to 8, right? So again, we're going to have our base, just some random number. We'll call it x. And in this case, it's raised to the third power and it's equal to 8. Okay, so here you can see we have an odd exponent, right? So we should expect to only have one solution at the end, right? Now to solve for x over here, uh, the first thing we need to do is get rid of this exponent, the 3. And in order to do that, you just have to take the cube root of both sides. Okay, so then on this side, the cube root and the cubed exponent, they cancel each other out. So then we're just left with x on this side. And that's equal to the cube root of 8 which is positive two, right? So then here, our answer or our root is positive two, right? Not too bad, right? Let's try a few more here. Okay, the next one, uh, n is equal to four and a is equal to 16, right? So we're gonna have x raised to the fourth is equal to 16. Now here we have an even exponent, right? So we should expect to get two solutions, a positive and a negative one. Uh, so here to get rid of this four, we need to take the fourth root of both sides, all right? It's just like that. So then here, these guys cancel out. So then we're just left with x is equal to the fourth root of 16. So what number times itself four times is equal to positive 16? Well, that would be a positive and negative two, right? Because two times two times two times two, that's equal to 16. And negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, that's also equal to 16, right? So that's why whenever we have an even exponent, we get two solutions. So here we have two solutions or two roots, right? So we have positive two and negative two. Okay, next we have uh, n is equal to five and a is equal to negative one, right? So we're gonna have a, uh, sorry, x raised to the n, which is five and that's equal to negative one. So here we have an odd exponent, so we're only gonna have one answer. And to get rid of this five, we're gonna take the fifth root of both sides like that. Those cancel out. So then here we get that X is equal to the fifth root of negative one, which is negative one, okay? So again, just thinking of what number times itself five times in a row is equal to negative one. Well, it would just be negative one. So three, four, five, right? So negative one times negative one is one negative one times negative one is one, and then a negative one right there. So one times one times negative one is equal to negative one. Okay, so we just have one solution, one root, and it's negative one. All right, uh, number four, n is equal to four and a is equal to 256. So here we're gonna have x raised to the fourth is equal to 256. Again, to solve, well, actually the first thing, uh, four is an even exponent, so we're gonna have two solutions, right? And to get rid of this four, again, we're just going to take the fourth root of both sides. These guys cancel out again. So we get that x is equal to the fourth root of 256, and that's equal to, again, plus or minus, and this would be four, right? Uh, four times four times four times four is equal to 256, and negative four times negative four times negative four times negative four is equal to the same thing. So here, our two solutions, our two roots, are positive and negative four. Okay, and just a couple more here, and these are both gonna be kind of special cases. So number five, n is equal to two and a is equal to zero, right? So here we're gonna have x squared is equal to zero. 
Now, here we have an even exponent, so you would think we would have two solutions, right? But the problem is that this is equal to specifically zero, okay? Because here, x we have x squared. Now, to get rid of the exponent, we could just take the square root of both sides, right? So then these cancel out. So we're left with x is equal to the square root of zero. And then you would think, oh, okay, we'll have plus or minus the square root of zero, which is zero. But the problem is there's no such thing as positive or negative zero, right? So since zero is neither positive or negative, right, it's just zero, we only have one solution in this case. So it would just be x is equal to zero, right? So we just have one solution, one root, and it's zero. Okay, now lastly, number six, n is equal to two and a is equal to negative 49. So we're gonna have x squared is equal to negative 49. So here we have an even power, so two solutions, right? So to get rid of this two, we're going to again take the square root of both sides. So then here these cancel out and we get x is equal to the square root of negative 49. But the problem here is, as you know, we cannot take the square root of a negative number. So in this case, we're gonna have an imaginary solution. So uh, what's the just the square root of 49? That would be seven, right? But since it's negative, it's going to be 7i. And remember, we had our even exponent, right? Two solutions. So it's going to be positive or negative 7i. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.